Okay, so this is the IGN Doom Eternal review. Let's see this. Yeah, I'm actually kind of interested to see what they think, you know, because IGN has a history of rating terrible games in a in a good way. So uh, let's let's see how such a great game like Doom Eternal turns out to IGN. Oh, and also, this is under fair use, so don't get mad at me. This evolved follow-up takes everything good about the fast and punchy 2016 reboot and proves it wasn't a fluke. In fact, it's largely ruined the first game for me in retrospect because the addition of Eternal's mid-air dashes make the last thrill ride of a game feel like wading through waist-high molasses by comparison. This is the dumbest point I've ever heard about any game or anyone criticizing a game. At least know what you're talking about when you're going to review something. You know, like, how does a dash ability being added to Doom Eternal make Doom 2016 any slower? It stays the same pace. Oh, look! Finally! Onto the damn review! It's like I've been sitting here listening to you whine the entire time. Oh wait, that's right! You were! First, here's what I said about the campaign. Okay, here we go. We get to know about the campaign. This should be interesting. Simply put, Doom Eternal is one of the best first-person shooter campaigns I've played in years. Oh yes, finally, something I agree with. As a second game of its kind, it's lost some of its novelty. And then he doesn't even explain how the game lost some of its aspect. What? How is this a review? Who, who at IGN thought this was a good idea? This excellent refinement of the already outstanding 2016 reboot makes you an unspoken deal. But you just got done trashing the 2016 game. If you can keep up with it, it will keep up with you. Except it doesn't. This game is hard. It does not wait for you to catch up. This game takes no prisoners. With lots of options at every step of the way to tailor fights to your preferred slaying style, and it's an absolute blast along the way. You know, from a game like Doom Eternal, I expected something like this, you know, a 9 out of 10. I mean, like, of course, it's Doom Eternal. It's it's Doom, it's cool, right? But, like, didn't you just get done nitpicking the game? And here's my verdict on multiplayer. Finally, yes, we get to see the multiplayer aspect. Let's do this. Quick battle mode walkthrough intro and bare bones tutorials for each playable demon give you a quick look at what each bad guy can do in your hands, but the fun of battle mode is getting out there and figuring out how to best put each demon's abilities to work. Doom Eternal is a game that demands and respects player skill, and while battle mode doesn't allow you to put yours to the ultimate test on a traditional level playing field, it is nevertheless a clever mode that's a lot of fun if you're willing to give it a try and get to know its nuances. But you barely just went over the mode. What? You're just gonna rate it like that? And not even talk about the pros and cons? My dude, you just got done butchering the campaign. And now you're gonna just sit there and just like, I don't know, talk to the multiplayer and you're gonna like, Oh, I'll do anything to give you a good rating. Like, no. Here we go, the final verdict. Let's see what IGN rates this game. Whether you've been playing Doom for a few years or a few decades, Doom Eternal demands your attention. <laughs> I'm proud of you, IGN. I'm proud of you. You finally rated an actually good game. Over a five. For more on Doom Eternal, check out my in-depth reviews of the single-player campaign and battle mode multiplayer. And I'll be taking a quick look at those for the rest of the video. But oh wait, I just watched them, and they're the same thing just compiled into the video I just watched. Why would you even shout it out and tell people to watch it if they just saw it, but just in a shorter length? What? But really quickly though, I just want to say that this video is all satire. Go check out IGN. It's a great channel. If you want to go see new games, go definitely check out their channel because you can see reviews and stuff and yeah, whatever. If you do not subscribe right now, I will fucking kill you kid lolololololol.
If you do not subscribe right now, I will fucking kill you, kid. Lololololololol.